Hey dear friends, welcome back again. We are so happy you popped over again to see what we are up to today. Of course, for everyone who is new here, welcome. We are Yanni and Diane and we hope you enjoy what you see. And if you do, of course, we hope you take a little bit of inspiration with you. For everyone who is here and is not subscribed to our channel, we hope you will click the red subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and tick the bell so you will be notified every time we upload new DIYs. Like we always say, enough talking, let's jump in today's inspiration. And here you see already on my table are the things we need for this DIY. We need, of course, our thumbnail towel blocks. These are the smaller blocks. I have here some tape. And this is tape from the Lidl. It's similar like uh, duct tape. And this is from the brand from their own Parkside. I think a lot of you already know it. I have here my little container with my scissors, markers, brushes, uh, everything i need for a diying of course i have here some paint i don't know if i use this paint but choose any color you like of course i have here my wood glue and i use the brand patex but you can use any brand uh, wood glue you like and of course i have here my old piece of saucer and i have here a piece of kitchen towel which is wet to wipe away the glue we don't need what we're going to make we are going to make a, a lighthouse here in the netherlands we call it a vuurtoren we have a lot of lighthouses here in the Netherlands so because we are a, a country with a lot of water so we have a lot of uh, fuel torrents over here so we are going to make one but we're going to make that you can use it in your decor and it is will be a very unique piece you can use of course I hope you take out your tumbler tower blocks too and do this DIY together with me so we are going to start with the bottom the bottom we are going to take seven blocks we already have six, seven. We are going to glue the longest side. So very easy. Number one, number two, place them immediately against each other. So like I always say, your glue is not running down. And place it over here. And number six and number seven is always the closure up. Squeeze it like this. And make you sure that you have a straight line. So if you don't have the metal hook, just don't, don't mind, you can easily uh, make a straight line with this way. So of course, five, six, and seven. So I will get number one, and number two, three, and four, five, and number six. And again, number seven is the closure up again. We're going to squeeze it, press it together this way, and we make the another one of seven. So five, six, seven, and again, we're going to do some glue on the side. And of course, there are so many um, ideas for making a lighthouse. Of course, you only have to look on Pinterest. My lighthouse, I'm going to try a little bit the same uh, like we have here in the Netherlands. But of course, also with the twist, so you can use it in your decor. So it won't be red and white because... <laughs> Yeah, red and white is not fitting in my decor. So if you are really like, and you can also do blue with white, if you have more like uh, another color um, uh, decor in your home, you can choose any color you like. And like I said, we have a lot of uh, light uh, houses here in the Netherlands because, like I said, we are a country which was of uh, is still on the water. So of course we have uh, less than we had in the early days, but. We are very familiar with lighthouses. So this is already three pieces of seven. But of course, this is the bottom. I like my bottom a little bit thicker because it will more look like a lamp we are going to use in our decor. So we are going to do, again, seven blocks in a row. And we're going to do, again, a row of seven. Let me know in the comments down below if you also have a lighthouse in the uh, area where you live. Because I don't know if they are very familiar everywhere. Of course, I think there are a lot of places. But I don't really know. At least I never thought where there would uh, be more. So if you have lighthouses in your area, just let me know. We would love to know. This is one too much. And this is again one of seven. And this is number three, four. Five and number six and the closure up again squeeze it and the last of seven will be over here and then we have our bottom already 
for everyone who doesn't like to see how everything is counted uh, of course i totally understand if for some people this is a little bit too long but i always do it step by step so everyone can make it but i know it's not everyone's cup of tea to hear me talking counting and saying the same things again but a lot of you do like it so and they can make it very easy together with me so if you don't like it just skip forward of course i hope you don't and of course i hope you like it but i also understand if you don't so this way and this way and now we're going to give it a couple of minutes drying so i gave my six pieces of seven a couple of minutes what we're going to do we are going to glue two of them together this way we're going to do over here make sure that we have enough glue and this one over here and we do here and again a row of here and we're going to place it on top of each other and again you can place them on the side and make sure that you have a straight line you can place this one on the side and again try to get a straight line and here the same just do it and just feel with your fingers you always can feel the best with your fingers this way and i'm going to let this dry in also a couple of minutes so we have now our three pieces we're going to place it on top and we're going to go a little in the middle we do here some glue in the middle and make sure that they hit all the blocks place it down place it down go them together and make one big piece out of it and now you still can because you didn't let it dry in too much now you still can work with it if there are spaces which are open and you don't like it use some speckle or maybe some wood filler if you don't like it but i always uh, think this always nature wood is nature so you can still use it i don't like it if everything is too smooth and too uh, nice but of course if you don't like it i totally understand but I like always a little bit of gaps over here but try to get it as minimal minimal mi at least we call minimal <laughs> even that that's a difficult word for a dutch lady so i'm going to give this uh, some time to dry we are going further with the, the middle piece of the lighthouse so now we're going to make the uh, middle piece of the lighthouse we are going to get five blocks like this and we're going to get the tops we're going to do some glue very easy and this one over here we're going to glue this one and this one over here do a little here and the last over here and number five is the closure up again we're going to squeeze it press it together like this and we're going to make sure that everything sticks very nice we're going to wipe away the glue we don't need of course we make sure that our mat is still very uh, clean because or else everything is sticking together so we're going to have already one of five i'm going to do an another one of five of course don't worry i don't do everything together with you so <laughs> i only do a couple of this one and again number two number three and number four and number five is of course the closure up again like this squeeze them and we're going to get our towel and we're going to wipe away and we're going to give it a little bit of pressure again Oop, you see already he is already popping out but you can easily glue them together again like this and make sure that everything is clean and that before you're going to place it aside and we need in totally 17 pieces of five so very easy 70 pieces of five i'm going to make a couple of them extra and you see that a little bit quicker and here you see already our 17 pieces of three because i want to uh, take no chance that they will break i will place them aside and i let them dry at least overnight maybe it's always a little bit better when you're going to work with it so i'm going to place this one over here 
And of course, our bottom is over here. And I'm going to place this one aside because this also needs to dry. For the top of our uh, lighthouse, we need, of course, one piece of this one. So we're going to make three rows of seven again. And this one also needs to dry. So we're going to take seven blocks like this. This ready, uh, four, five, six, seven. Yes. And also we do this three times because then we later can use it our jigsaw to make a nice round but if we do it uh, not a couple of hours uh, before then our jigsaw will everything destroy everything because then your glue is still not dried up so we don't take chances so that's why i do a couple of things in advance three four five and six and you see okay very easy see this way and of course, I'm going to number two. I try to do it as fast as I can. And like this. And of course, the last one. I thought I was already there, but I wasn't. And you see already this one, when I squeeze it, it wants to pop out. And the last of seven. Five, six, and of course, over here. And then we can glue them together and then we're going to let it rest overnight of course for you it is a second because you don't see <laughs> see the overnight but i always say you can better take a little bit too lo long to dry then you do it too short and everything falls apart but that's not what you want you don't do the doi so everything will fall apart it's not really nice working so like this I'm going to give this one a couple of minutes. So now I have my three pieces of seven. Just let it dry in a couple of minutes. I'm going to do some glue on the side. Place it down. We're going to do it over here. A little glue on the side. And again, place it down. And we're going to place them together to make sure that we have a nice one piece of wood so we can saw it out in a round like this of course we wipe away the glue so if everything is correctly you have right now you have a bottom like this with double up seven 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 is 21 21 on this side this is the bottom of course now we have our 17 pieces of five blocks over here we have them over here and we have one piece of seven, seven and seven is 21. Of course, also let it dry. If this is what you have, then you are really totally fine. You have everything. So we are going to let this rest for a couple of hours and then we're going to go further with making the middle piece of our lighthouse. And like I told you, I told you we are going to the middle piece and we go to the middle piece, don't worry. But I did one extra, I had my camera out and I was thinking I made one extra of 21, three times seven. But I made already one extra again. So of course you need two pieces of uh, planks with 21 blocks like this. You have your bottom. And you have your 17 pieces of five, like this one. If you have this, then you have everything you need. But I told you one, but I think we can go better for go for this two also. So two of 21, uh, the bottom of double up of 21 and uh, 17 pieces of five. Then you have everything at least for now, <laughs> for now, for our lighthouse. And you see already, we are going to take our 17 pieces of uh, five. I don't know if I'm going to use all 17. We will see later on because you use tape. You could also place, well, if the round is too big for you, you can also place a couple of them uh, out. So you don't have to use all of them. So we're going to place them down flat on the table like this. And we're going to make a nice straight line especially because take your time for it because we have to tape it so we want to be sure that everything is on the at least for the bottom is on the same length that's always a little bit of a task of course if you have your metal hook you will be fine and you have it very flat already so i do it uh, out of, of eyeball i think you call it eyeballing it if i'm correctly i hear some people say it I don't know if I'm correctly, but 
This time I'm going to turn this one over because he's not totally fitting nicely. And he does right now. So I have it over here. I'm going to squeeze it. And now I'm going to get my tape. And of course my scissors. I'm going to cut off a little piece of my tape because this is the start of the tape. And I'm going to cut it off like this. You see already he's already falling down. And I'm going to cut it. I'm sorry for the noise. Oh, this is really bad. <laughs> this is uh, this is new tape for me. I never used <laughs> used it. So sorry. I try to. I'm going to cut off this piece. And now I hope everything will work on camera. And you see already he is almost going not the way I want to. Oh my. He is so not. You see already. This is what I mean. With DIYing. This is also DIYing. <laughs> Oh my, of course, I'm going to get my piece. I'm going to do it out of camera or else the noise will be too hard. So I placed already one over here on this side and this side. And I'm going to do uh, to, uh, uh, on and on uh, until the top. So I think I need uh, one, two, three, four. And maybe I do a couple of extra to be sure that everything sticks together. But I will won't do it on camera because this makes so much noise. I am... Not sure if I like duct tape better than this one. We will see. I'm trying out uh, in the period, uh, coming period, a little couple of uh, pieces of tape. So I don't know if I like this one a lot, but the, I used already the duct tape and that's really uh, great. But I'm going to see if I like this one also. So I'm going to tape this full, but you have to tape it this way. Not in the length, but in the uh, wide. So I'm going to do the rest also. So you see already, I have all of them with some tape. I hope the shininess, you can see uh, the tape. Uh, I already made a round out of it because like this. But I think for my piece, then I should have done it uh, too uh, longer. I think he's a little bit too big the round. So I'm going to get off a little piece of my uh, thing. I'm going to get a knife and I'm going to cut this uh, one off. I think I'm going for 16 pieces of five, but you can, if you like it a little bit bigger, it's also fine too. But I think I'm going to cut off one piece. So it is very easy just to get your knife and in between and just cut off a little of the thing. And of course you also can cut off this way. Just go in between and just cut it off. And just get your knife to it like this. And of course, everything has to work with you. If it doesn't, you see already, you get this, <laughs> this kind of thing. But of course, like you see, I have already one off. And I'm going to glue up, get my tape and everything is taped together right now. So now I have 16 pieces and now I think he's a little bit better to get on my uh, frame. Of my bottom so you see now i have a little bit more over on this side i like that a little bit better what we're going to do before we're going to glue it but if we're going to glue it right now then everything is falling apart so i'm going to do one tape uh, over here on this side and then i'm going to make a round and i'm going to glue them together so i laid all my pieces this way i have here a piece of tape what i'm going to do i'm going to place it for the half on this a side of the blocks he is not uh, needing to fit totally you see we just have a little piece of overlay we are going to place our around up i try to do it this way i don't even see what i'm doing <laughs> and i'm going to place this one down like this oh over here and now you have a sticky side on here I hope you can see it on camera. I don't know if you can see it. So I have a half of the sticky side here. I'm going to place this one next to it. And we're going to glue them on top of here. So like this. And if everything is correctly, I hope when I take it up, he will, you see, now you have just a kind of a package. And I hope when we're going to get it up, it gives so many time that we can glue it on top of our uh, bottom with our wood glue. So like this, and now you have a nice round and it doesn't fall apart anymore. So we're going to get the wood glue and we're going to place it on top of here. And you see, you can make any shape you like. So now we have our round, we're going to get our bottom 
And what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to do on each side of our frame, we are going to do some wood glue. So very easy, just do some wood glue on each piece of the blocks over here. And so you go around and around. I hope you can see it. Yes, you can see it over here, just on the tops. Make sure that you have every block because we always hope that every block will glue on the bottom. So like this. And now we're going to get it off the table. Be careful. We're going to turn it over like this. And now we, before we're going to place it down, try to get it at least a little bit kind of around. And a little also where you want to have it. And now we're going to give it a little bit of shape because we need a round. So, and we're going to look for and we turn it and get the best round you can do. It is not really, uh, it is not really bad if you don't have totally a round. It is, of course, you do your best, the more you can do. And then you're going to place it down. What I'm going to do with one of the planks that we already have before we're going to make the round, I'm going to place this on top and I'm going to get my painter's can. He is very heavy and I'm going to place it on top to let it dry in for at least a couple of hours. So you see already the painter's can is over here and we are seeing some glue coming out. We get our wet towel and we a small brush and we're going to wipe away the glue on the outside, which we don't need, of course. We're going to go around it like this so you don't get uh, a lot of glue on the outside so like this what we're going to do right now we're going to take our plank and we are going to make a round out of it because we want to have uh, a nice uh, top and we want to have the top round because the light uh, ball uh, on top of the lighthouse is for me at least is round so because i want the round uh, as big as i can over the complete uh, piece of uh, wood I found a little uh, container and I'm going to place this one on top he has the, the size I need so I'm going to really fill this in and I'm going to get my pencil and of course you probably have something laying around in your home which is also fitting uh, on top of here so we're going to go this way and we're going to go this way and over here, like this. And you see already he is a little bit bigger, but just we're going to go with our pencil and we make it a little bit more fitting. And this one also over here and just go over here. And now I have my round I need for the top. And I'm going to get to my garage and I'm going to saw it out. And of course, we're going to do it two times because this one also he's now for a little bit of steadiness. But of course, we are going to do this one also the same. And we're going to cut it out and we're going to uh, use this for the lighthouse on top. And here you see already the two rounds we just cut out. And you see already I also used the one on top over here. He is now glued on here. And now we have our frame already from our lighthouse we have our two rounds what i'm going to do i'm going to get some loose blocks i think i need maybe just if you are to be sure just go uh, around the round with some loose blocks and do the spaces in between you want to have it because here in the middle will be a little tea light or maybe some uh, string light you can do anything uh, over here will be the light so you can get uh, maybe you want to have it uh, a little bit closer maybe you want to have it wider it doesn't matter but just count out a little how wide you want to have it then count the numbers you have for over here and this kind of blocks i'm going to do a little hole in the middle and i'm going to paint this one black because i want to have an accent color uh, for this kind of blocks so i'm going to do this one in black and i'm going to make in each of them a little hole in the middle so the light is also coming a little bit 
uh, through the openings. So I don't know if, you, I li if I like it or not, but you don't have to do it if you like it a little bit better because you see this first. If you like it better just without the little uh, uh, hole, then it's also fine too. You do whatever you think it's right. I'm going to try it with some a little hole. So I'm going to drill some uh, hole and of course, then I'm going to paint them in the black Color. And you see already on my table what went wrong because I lost some footage and that is the, <laughs> the part where I did uh, tell you that I would paint them. Of course you already know. You see already this is the little hole I was talking about and I painted them black. I did some video for it but of course I think you already know how to paint your block in the black color. Maybe you also, because I'm doing black and white, but if you are maybe liking other colors, like I said earlier, if you like more red and white or maybe blue and white, if you have a nautical uh, theme for the summer or the spring, but of course I have now 18 pieces with uh, black uh, paint. What I'm going to do now, I still need to paint this too in the uh, white color. Because I'm not going to glue it on top of here. I'm going to paint this one in the white color. This two in the white color. And I am going to paint later a little top of the... I uh, use a little bowl for it. And I, that will be the top of my um, lighthouse. But first, we're going to paint this one. You can also, like I said earlier, spray paint it in the gold or silver. If you have more like a glam style look in your home. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do a little bit of the creamy color. I'm going to lay this aside. You see here, I use the creamy white color. It's a little bit of a thicker uh, chalk paint. So he's really covering very well. So I'm going to do very easy both of the sides. I'm just going to do it in this color. And later we're going to make some stripes, of course, on our uh, lighthouse also. But first I'm going to give... And also I'm going to paint the... Uh, piece which we took off our, our round. You see already the, I have a one of five over. Maybe you have two over. I am going to paint this in the white color also because maybe I have a little idea for it later. So we will see if I like it, but I think I already going to paint it and see later if I use it or not, but I'm going to paint it white. So again, I'm going to go over it, but don't worry. I do it a little bit faster. are painted what i'm going to do right now because i have something with the leftover piece uh, i have an idea so i'm going to glue four blocks like this together so i have to get my paint of course my paint my um my glue oh this is just a someday <laughs> that really <laughs> the words are not coming in english so i'm going to do some glue on the side and number two and number three and number four is the closure up we're just going to squeeze it press it together and again wipe away the glue we don't need like this and we're going to give it a couple of minutes to dry in turn it over and we're going to let it rest and now we are going to get the black paint because we already painted this one in the black. Of course, you see, we know already with the little opening we did 18. And I'm going to get my schoolboard paint again because I have here a little kind of bowl. You see, this is a really small one. And if you're comparing it with the uh, round, it is um, yeah one third of the round, a little bit more. Like this, maybe you have something else laying around, what you can use and you don't. Maybe some piece where you uh, do your X in. I don't know how you call it. Um, you can do some extra standard where you do your X in uh, with the Easter. I don't know how it's called <laughs> in English. Just let me know in the comments down below, but at least some kind of a bowl you can use. So I'm going to get my schoolboard paint and I'm going to paint the outside in the black color so very easy I'm going to give it a nice black color and I'm just going to one coat is more than enough but 
Also, with you, if you are more like a glam person or something other, uh, other colors, do it the color you think you like. So I'm going to paint this black. So I painted my little ball in the black, but now I'm going to paint also the four blocks we glued together. I'm going to paint this one also in the black color. Very easy. So what we're going to do right now, everything is painted. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get my one of the rounds. I have my black blocks with a little hole inside, with or without. Maybe you have it without. And I'm going to get my wood glue and I'm going to glue them on the sides. Of course, what you also can do is place them a little bit in the inside, not totally on the ending. You can also place them a little bit more inside of the frame. But I'm going to go for on the outside. So I'm just going to do a little bit of glue on the underside, not too much. And I'm going to place it over here. Make sure that everything is falling in between. I'm going to do on the other one, just a little glue. And I'm going to go turn it over and I'm leave a little space uh, over. Not too much, but a little. And I'm going to give it a little bit of pressure. And also over here. And I'm going to go around and around. And I don't know how much I need. We will see. And again. Place it on the top of over here. Just give it a little bit of squeeze and try to get it as even as you can. Of course, I will don't do the whole round together because or else you think this is taking much too long. So, <laughs> so I'm going to do this one. Give it a pressure and I'm going to go totally around. And you see already, this is how he is looking like. So I'm going to make the whole round. So you see, I have my round with my blocks. And I think it turned out very nice. Of course, you also can, like I said earlier, just place them already on top of here and then glue them one by one so you don't have really a big open gaps. So I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to get the piece that I normally would throw away because I picked one out of my round. And I have here, of course, the piece we just painted black. What I'm going to do, I'm going to glue this on this side like this. So this can also dry in. I'm going to do some glue. Oh, you see already, I already did the lid on. I don't know why, <laughs> but I already did. So I'm going to do some glue over here. And I'm going to place, I have to look for which one is the underside. Of course, I'm going to do it a little bit lower. So I'm going to go for over here. And I'm going to let this dry in. So you see already, we painted our flag. We're going to place it aside. We're going to work with this later. We're going to give this some rest to dry. Now we're going to get our other round and we're going to get our cup. And of course, uh, I was looking it up, how you call an, um, here in the net, we call it an eierdop, an eierdop. So you call it an egg cup, if I'm correctly. What I'm going to do, of course, you can choose anything you like for on top. So I'm going to do some wood glue, a little bit more like in the middle, over here. Just go over it as less as you can. Then we go over here and we're going to place it in the middle. We're going to look for which one we like the most for the top. And I think for this one, and I'm going to try to get it in the middle over here. And we're going to give it some pressure and we're going to let this dry in. So we're going to place this aside because this can dry up like this. Now we're going to get our base and we're going to place our base on the side. And you see already we did five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to do ring number two and ring number four. I'm going to do in the black, but not in the school board uh, black paint. I'm going to do it in some shoe polish, so it will be a little bit kind of a gray color, I think. So I'm going to take very easy, just a simple brush, and I'm going to go inside and just only do this block and, of course, this ring. I do it as a uh, uh, nice as I can, but later we're going to work our way. Of course, you can do some tape over here and then uh, make your way around it. You can do anything you like. Just make your rings. Uh, I do too, but you also can do if you like maybe uh, another color. You can go start here and do number one, number three and number five in a color. 
you choose anything you like. I'm going to work my way around this one and on round four. So you see I have all the pieces in shoe polish and I eventually I use my painter's tape uh, to make the lines because it was a little bit too tricky just to do it. My thought first was I'm going to do a later on the lines. I'm going to do some twine, but I'm going to try to do it without the twine. Maybe I will use it. I don't know. So I'm going to uh, get a piece of kitchen towel and I'm going to go over it and wipe away the shoe polish we don't need. So very carefully and then we're going to remove the tape. So I have here the first side of my tape and I am really so curious how it will look like. I will show you also, I think uh, probably a little pieces are blending out, but we will see. We have to deal with what we see. So I'm going to pull this down like this. And I think it looks very nice. Of course, perfect is a lot. <laughs> perfect is it not? But of course, I already am happy with the lines I have so far. So I'm going to do the rest of the tape and then we're going to do the next step. I have the stripes on my lighthouse. What I'm going to do, I'm going to glue the top uh, on it because this will be uh, uh, glued to the frame. And of course, I use the lid later, but he will be loose. So you can ever, every time you can, um, if you have use battery up, it lies. You can always uh, with your batteries or else you can't uh, be uh, there anymore. So I will leave this loose on top. But of course, this top we are going to glue on the frame. So I'm going to get my wood glue. Very easy. And I'm going to do some glue over here on this. I hope you can see it. And try to do it on each block. Some glue. And we go around. Try to do it as much as the inside as you can. So I'm going to go over to be sure that everything is glue together this way. I'm going to get a piece of kitchen towel because I don't want to damage my uh, black blocks. So I'm going to place this one upside down like this. And I'm going to turn this one over and I'm going to place it exactly on the middle. So that's why I'm going to make sure that I have it over here. And I'm going to let it loose and I'm going to look for if I have everything in a straight line or maybe I can redo it a little and I think I'm going to go over here and I'm going to let this rest at least for a couple of hours so in the meantime we are going to take our flag and I have here some uh, etiquettes and of course I'm going to use two of them so I'm going to cut them out these are stickers so I can later cut them on top of here so I'm going to cut this off what I'm going to do first I'm going to do the whole black piece so the black lines I'm going for this one because the size is this way and I'm going to make it a little bit shorter so I'm going to go over the lines like this and I'm going to do this one and over here but you can also you do the letters straight ahead on top of your a flag. I just give you an example how it uh, can be. You don't have to do anything I uh, do because this, like I always say, is just an inspiration. And I'm going to cut off a little piece. And you see, now I have it nice fitting on top of here. So I'm going to make two pieces of this one and then we're going to glue them on the front and on the back side, of course. So I'm going to cut off this also around the lines like this. But of course, I won't bore you with that. I will do this a little bit faster. So you see, this is how my flag turned out. And of course, you can write anything on top you want. What I was thinking, maybe from the same color, I have here some sticker, the brown color. You can use some piece of cardboard because that's also very uh, bendable. What I'm going to do, I think I'm going to try to make a kind of a door 
over here and then I'm going to um, stick it on top of on the other side of my um, a lighthouse. I don't know if it will look alright, but I think I'm going to uh, see. I'm just going to cut it out. If I don't like it, I just throw it away. But I think maybe it can look nice, but of course it doesn't have to be. So I'm going to cut out again the black lines over here, and I'm going to cut off this one. And I'm just going to easily go try to make a nice kind of a door. I don't know if it will work or not. So I'm going to make it a little bit more looking like a door and then we will see if this will work or not. So I have here my little door and I'm going to, because I have still one over, I think I'm going to do on the top of the um, a lighthouse. I'm going to make a little round from this color also to do it over here so everything is blended together because I like when colors are coming back so it gives one um, yeah it gives more rest uh, to your piece so I'm going to make a little round for this one also so now I'm going to stick my door on the front side over here so I'm going to do this very carefully and just do it and like I said you can use a very easy use some cardboard so you don't have to uh, use this kind of etiquette so of text how you call them Here in the Netherlands we call them etiquette and of course I want to do this together with you but sometimes it doesn't work with me. So I'm going to glue this off, glue this, stick this until here. So I'm going to do very carefully. I'm going to do it over here and I'm going to stick it over here. So we already have our door and now we're going to uh, get our flag on top of here. So I'm going to do my flag on this side, I think, of my uh, thing. And you can do it on this side. You can make two of them if you like it. I think I'm going to go for mine on this side. So I'm going to do some wood glue on the other side. And of course, I have to hold it for a little moment in place. Just do over here. And we're going to place it. On the side, I have to look for, of course, you don't see it on camera too, uh, too well. So I'm going to place it over here and then I'm going to keep it in place for a little moment. So in the meantime, while my flag is drying, I'm going to take four blocks because I want to try something out. I don't know if it is, uh, I like it or not, but we will see. I'm going to glue some of the, uh, some glue on the side. I'm going to place this one over here. I'm going to do some glue on this one. Also, and I'm going to glue this one on this side. So we make just a very easy, simple square. We do some glue over here, and we're going to do it on the inside over here. And now that everything is correctly, he is fitting very nicely in each other this way. And we're going to squeeze it, and we give it a couple of minutes rest. So you see, it's very easy, just four pieces together. So I gave this a couple of minutes and what I did try out, I did uh, get another uh, piece of the uh, etiquette of tag and I'm going to did some tag around my block. And I am really loving it because I want to give it a kind of a planter next door. So I'm going to get my black paint and I'm going to uh, paint the top of this one. I will paint in the black color just a very uh, a little bit over here so it gets comparison with this one. So, and I think now you have a nice a little uh, kind of a plant. You do some little bit of boxwood inside and you already have your own cute little planter for on the side. So I use my small brush and I have this can is almost finished. So he's uh, almost done. So I'm going to do just on the tops. I'm just going to give it a little bit of the black color. So very easy, a little inside and be careful that you don't mess too much on the other side. Over here, we're going to go for this one. Then we're going to turn it around. And the last side. And we're going to let this dry in. So of course our uh, lighthouse is almost uh, finished and of course I'm going to let you uh, give your own twist on the flag. I give your own twist on the little um, uh, 
planter on the side. You can do anything you like. I will show you in a moment a quick impression. But of course, we must not forget the top because this is the most important. You can do some tea lights inside. I think there is room for at least three tea lights for inside of here. I am going to choose my battery operated little string light. And I always paint my little house of the battery operated lights black. But uh, you also can already buy string lights which are only having such a little piece of uh, house where the uh, battery is in so if you have the smaller one I still have the old ones but I'm going to place mine of course I have to see if mine works and I'm going to place this aside and I'm going to turn around very carefully I'm just going to turn over my string light with my twine around it to give it a nice glow and this way I'm going to turn it and I'm going to place it inside of the little container and this is on a bat uh, battery operated of course but it's also on the timer so and I'm going to place this one inside in the middle and I place my little top on here so but in a moment you see the quick impression and here you see finally a quick impression of my Tumblr Tile Blocks Lighthouse and I'm so happy how it turned out. Of course I hope you took out your Tumblr Tile Blocks too and did this DIY together with me. And everyone who is new here and you like what you see, we hope you will click the red subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and click the bell so you will be notified every time we upload new DIYs. For more DIY inspiration, come on over to our description box. There you find the link for our DIY channels. For everyone who is here and only love to watch, I hope you had fun watching. Everyone, we hope you have all an amazing day and we hope to see you in the next one. Bye.